Okay, Assalamualaikum. Alright, for today, uh, the new chapter will begin. The topic is importance of water resources. So learning outcomes for these topics, you should be able to explain the importance of water resources and know the guidelines required by WHO, which is WQI and INWQS. Alright. There are four categories of water resources. Right, number one is uh, surface water, which is river or lake that we can use as our resources, and also ground groundwater, and we can reclaim our sea water and also effluent from wastewater. And last, we can reuse our rainwater as our water resources. Alright. How we develop our surface water which, which is come from a river or our lake. Alright. So, to use our river um, we have to build a dam and then use a pump become a reservoir then there is a treatment here before we end into our water resources alright so our river is a main source in Malaysia as water resources alright this dam is beneficial for dry season alright so what criteria that we can use this river as our resources so first we have to know our river is far from industrial or commercial and then uh, types of treatment means that uh, either this river is polluted or any treatment that we can use so this treatment is if the river is very polluted so the treatment is becomes expensive and causes so there are a few dam in Malaysia, so this dam is function to create a reservoir and store all the water for a few years. So there are a few list of dam here that I found out from a journal from KE Lee in 2018. So he's list down the dams are in Malaysia. So the purposes of them is water supply, hydropower, irrigation, flood mitigation, environmental, or recreation. So this is uh, functions, purposes of them. That we will. Okay, stated here that large dam is defined as greater than 50 meter and storage greater than 3 million meter cube. Alright, so there is a 65 dam here. So some you are heard, you are heard before. Um, Gunung Pulai also has a dam here. Alright, in, built in 1950s. So we focus on 2000. So there are a few water supply dam. For example, Sungai Selangor Dam or Juice Dam in pa in Melaka or Cerah Dam in Pahang. Teluk Pahang Dam in Penang. Alright. So for hydropower, function as a hydropower. For example, at Bakun Dam, Sarawak. Also here, Chandra Dam and Cameron Highland at Ringlet. Kenya Dam also has a hydropower dam. Right, irrigation. Beris Dam at Kedah. 
Bukit Merah at Perak. Alright, flood mitigation as a flood mitigation is Bekuk Dam at Johor or Semberong Dam at Johor. For environmental purposes, uh, for example, seed retention at the Pas Baru Dam at Pahang. And the recreation dam is at Putrajaya. Alright, so this is the purpose of dam, why we build our dam. Right, uh, from the four categories, there is a groundwater. So, how we develop our groundwater as our water resources. So, as you know that groundwater is come from the water, alright, from our hydrogeological cycle, infiltrate into ground and then uh, percolate into, into void spaces uh, from the rock here, groundwater filling cracks in fractured rock and groundwater filling pore spaces between sediment grains and then go through unconfined aquifer uh, confining bed and confined aquifer and uh, discharge into our stream or river okay and then it's cycle uh, distribute among this water cycle alright so there are 60% of Malaysian groundwater is comes from domestic of use for domestic purposes. Alright, 30% used for industrial and only 10% used as agriculture. So there are a few facts here. Um, biggest groundwater well fill um, built in Kelantan. The this well producing 70 million liters per day in 1994. It used for irrigation. Alright, for Klang Valley, used for agriculture. Alright. So, there is a, a structure here. Alright, this one water well. Alright, uh, we can build, build our artesian well to get our groundwater. Alright. Uh, how are we we reclaim our salt water and effluent water? Alright, so we can use our wastewater, okay, reuse back by using a uh, treatment. Alright, um, and we can we use it our wastewater we reuse as our garden and agriculture field, not for drinking water. Alright, so this is. Okay, from this uh, figure, we can see here, alright, our groundwater, we use as our drinking water treatment, okay, uh, even though it comes from groundwater, we can, we have to treat it, alright, then we can drink it, alright, uh, drinking water comes from surface water, groundwater, reservoir, and then we distribute into water tank, and this water tank uh, distribute to industrial, our residence, our recreational park, right, and our commercial buildings. Okay, water comes out from industrial or wastewater comes out from domestic and commercial. Go to wastewater treatment. And at here, uh, we treat here, we treat the wastewater. And some goes to reuse, and some goes to our river and back into our sea body. Alright, so there is a storm water also go to the, our sea body. So from wastewater, we reuse and reuse as environmental restoration for our groundwater recharge, for agricultural reuse, for surface water augmentation, portable reuse. Irrigation reuse, domestic reuse, and industrial reuse, also for commercial reuse. Alright. Alright. Um, okay, this is the term of black water and grey water. Black water is waste water comes from our toilet, and grey water comes from our washer or our bathtub. Alright. So this is rainwater we collected 
it as a rainwater harvesting. Also, air conditioning water, we use it back. Uh, or storm water also, we collect it. Alright, so there is a storage here. We call it foundation drainage. That we can use as our dewatering operation. Alright, so water from sea water, we can use back. And there is a few treatment here that we can see. Uh, water comes from ocean. We have to do a pre-treatment and then reverse as osmosis. And then we have to stabilize the, the pH level. Goes to the storage and desaline the water by using another technology. For example, membrane. Right, we go to rainwater harvesting. Okay, the functions of rainwater harvesting is to storage or accumulate the rainwater for our use. Alright, so you can see here, even though you use the rainwater, collect from river or roof, alright, we, we have to treat it. Alright, so because of rainwater, can contain human or animal or bird faces. Alright. If, if from the sea, there is a calcium, magnesium and natrium dissolve or seeded or dissolve gases. For example, carbon dioxide. So here, if the rain, rainwater collect it at this area, alright, collected area and then uh, there is a duct here and goes to storage all right so the also from the collection area goes to the uh, recharge facility facilities here so the rainwater harvesting uh, actually we cannot use as our drinking water but we can use as our garden watering toilet flushing or car washing or clothes washing all right Okay, how we protect our water resources? Okay, for example, our river, lake, and stream, and well. So, how we protect it? So, the importance of to protect uh, these water resources is to cover our water shortage and uh, avoid it from contaminations and also um, cut the cost of treatment. Alright? So we can see here, alright, river. How we protect the, our river and lake? To protect our river and lake, there are uh, some policies for our, from our government, alright. So regulatory and a few economic instruments. So there is a policy to end off pipe solutions by industries, and then we do also water quality monitoring. And if there is a pollution, we we go to do a warning to uh, parties and also uh, if there is a farming and animal husbandry there is a some policy to reduce pollution from non-point sources all right because uh, water from farming and animals is containing fertilizer all right for example uh, phosphorus and ammonia Right. So water come from streams. Actually, water comes from streams who can collect directly by user. So some of the water contain bacterial bacteria contaminants. All right. Okay. From well. All right. So what is contamination in groundwater? Okay, what kinds of pollution in groundwater? Okay, so there are two types of contamination. For example, leachate from landfill. If our well built near the landfill, so the leachate is itself is pollution, so it can travel into our well. Alright, so for number two, if our well built near the seawater. So, 
sea water can intrude into our well alright so alright so for landfill we have to do a proper design we use thick impermeable layer together HDPE alright so we can use these perforated pipes alright so um for salt water, what we can see is intrusions of salt water. So actually, groundwater is less dense compared to sea water. So if we build near to near to um, sea water, alright. So this is our typical well. If we build our well near to sea water, so we have to. Uh, have a precaution because of if water table of seawater increases so the seawater can travel into our well so this one we call as intrusions of seawater into our well all right all right so there are a few types of well. So hand up well here. So what how we protect our hand up well? So we use a concrete apron here to prevent our contaminants getting into the well. And there is a puddle clay here. A function has to prevent from infiltration surrounding from the soil. And then there is a solid wall here. All right, this solid wall is to prevent a surrounding well to collapse from collapse all right tube well so another types of well tube well so also have a concrete apron and there is a solid casing to prevent infiltration from surrounding solid and there is a perforated tube here act as a filter to prevent soil particles from drawn into the surface Alright, so this is another one is spring box. So water from springs. Uh, this is the highest quality of water. Alright, so collected here and protected by using a spring box. Alright, and that's it. Alright, so from rainwater harvesting here, um, then what has harvesting is water collected from a building roof. There are two tanks here, collection area and also storage area. Alright, so the guideline. There are two guideline which is a WQI and INWQS. So this is DOE we from our government DOE Departments of Environmental use this WQI. Uh, but domination standard here use a uh, INWQS stand for interim national water quality standard. Alright, so this guideline is to ensure a quality of water, uh, safeguard to our health and community. So this water quality index um uh, stated in terms of physical, chemical, and microbiological characteristics. So, it's actually come out from MOH, Ministry of Health, and adapted by guideline from WHO, who is uh, World Health Organizations. Alright, WQI. So, actually, this WQI is Water Quality Index. Alright, so from this Water Quality Index, so we can know the status of water either is clean slightly polluted or polluted so there are a few class here class one until five all right and there are a few parameters so there are six parameter ammonia bod cod do and ph also total suspended solid all right so for wqi only uh, compute based on these six parameters so all right so if our 
value of WQI in this range. So if clean, 81 until 100. And slightly polluted, 16 to 80. And polluted, 0 to 59. So this index produces a number. And I will divide into 5 descriptive. So this one, eh, 5 descriptive. Alright, so this is the uh, formula for WQI. So for SIDO, this is the formula SIBOD, SICOD, SIAN, SISS, and SIPH. So for DO, we use a percent of saturation. For pH, we just put our pH value. And for this BOD, COD, AN, and SS, we use the uh, data in milligram per liter. So for this SIDO, so to get the percent of saturation, we use this chart. Okay, for example, for milligram per liter or ppm. Okay, from this graph, we can find the percentage of saturation. Alright, this one, percentage of saturation. So, you will be given the temperature and oxygen. This one, DO. Alright. Alright, so from this table, alright, DO and temperature, we can see here, uh, increase the temperature. So, this one, 0 until 45 degrees Celsius. So, the DO is become, we can use you can see here become decreases. So if temperature increases, the DO decreases. And also, if you use this chart, okay, if the temperature increases, okay, the percentage of saturation also increases. Alright, so this is the formula of WQI index. So you have to supposed to use this equation. So this DO in percentage of saturation and this pH. So for BOD, COD, AN and SISS, use in milligram per liter. So Canada also use this WQI, but uh, there is a few uh, CCME Canada, Canadian Council of Ministry Environment. Uh, there is use this formula for WQI. So you can see here, um, there are a water quality guidelines and site specific objectives for CCME. Alright, so kalau, uh, if you can see here, there is a F1, F2 and F3 formula. So F1, this is the formula for F1, F2 and F3. This one for Canadian. Alright. Okay, formulation standard. Okay, interim national water quality standard. Okay. Um, we use, instead of we use this WQI, Malaysia use this standard, which is the parameter is uh, expand from six parameters to salinity and temperature, fecal coliform, color, right, taste. Okay, so this is simulation standard. Different between WQI and INWQI, KS. So for INWQS, there is a class 1, 2B, 2A, 2B, 3, 4, and 5. If you can see here, um, for class 1, means the best class. Mean class river, the best river is class 1. So this one is a fishery, can use as a fishery. 2A, fishery and water supply. 2B for recreational use only. Class 3 only for fishery and water supply 3, but we have to do an extensive treatment required. Class 4 for irrigation and class 5 cannot use. Uh, it's the worst. Okay, polluted river. Cannot use any one of function here. So actually, this uh, standard for WQI, you can 
Google from this WEPA, WEPA website. Alright, so if you can see here, WEPA website. Okay. Uh, national Quality Standard for Malaysia. You can see here the National Water Quality for Malaysia. DOE, WQI, there are six standard. Okay. And also the formula. Okay. Alright. Okay, go to our example. So, this example is water quality study for Sungawe. Okay, uh, doing in 9.30 am to 12 pm. Okay, presented in this table below. So, you have to determine water quality by using WQI and INWQS. So, I will do for W1. And you will do for W2 and W3. And you're supposed to submit to our U future. Uh, the, the due date is your last class for this week. Alright. So, you have to use this equation. And based on this standard. So, from your lecture note. In your lecture note. Suppose uh, there is a few uh, few correction here, okay? Alright, so you can see here correction. The correction is here, okay? Right. Alright, so you have to correct for this equation for S I S S. Suppose this is posit uh, nine seven point five. Epsilon negative 0 0.00676x plus, not equal, plus 0.05x. Another correction is for SIAN. Uh, if, if x greater than 4 or equal 4, SIAN is equal to 0. So this one you can, uh, you can see at this this website all right so the equation the the correct equation is you can see from this website okay so i will show you sorry I will show you the calculation for this example. Alright. Alright. So, for our example, okay, this is the uh, uh, questions. So, what you should do is, first, you have to calculate SIDO, SIBOD, SICOD, SIAN, SISS, and SIPH. So I have correct my my uh, standard here. So for SIN and SISS. Okay, first for SIDO. So you have to find the uh, which okay we can see here for for example okay. Alright, see here. Okay, we go to SIDO. DO is 3. Point, our DO is 3.46. Okay, 3.46 in milligram per liter, but this formula is for uh, in percentage of saturation. So we have to use this chart. Right, so go to 3.64, 3.46. Okay, I'm taking uh, temperature 25 degrees Celsius at time this time, 25 degrees Celsius, so 40, 25. So it intersect at 38% of saturation DO. So if can see here if 30, 38 is in this value so we use this equation ok 
Okay, I'm using this equation for SIDO and then put 38. 38, right? So I get 31.95. So SIBOD, okay, SIBOD. My BOD is 5. Okay, so if great, lesser than or equal than 5, so I use this equation. So I use this equation. Right, I got 79.25. So X value is BOD value in milligram per liter. Okay, SICOD. COD is 28. So go to COD, 28 here. So I use this equation. From this equation, I got uh, the value of uh, SICOD is 65.24. Alright, ammonia. Ammonia is 6.34. So we go to uh, ammonia is greater than 4. So SIN is equal to 0. So I put 0 value. So SISS. Okay, suspended solid. 12, so if you can see here, 12 is lesser or equal than 100 here. So I use this equation, or insert 12 value. So I insert 12, I got 90.5. And for SIPH, so just put our pH value, 7.1. So from the equation is pH is 7.1. So, I put 7.1 in this equation. So, alright. So, tengok. 7.1 is at this range. So, I use this equation. Negative 181. Alright. So, I put 7.1. I got 99.06. So, use this equation. 0.22 times SIDO plus 0.19 plus at times SIBOD plus 0.16 times SICOD plus 0.15 times SIAN plus 0.19 times SISS plus 0.12 times SIPH. So I put into the equation this value, all these values I put into the equations. And I got a WQI 58.89. Okay, go to the table, 58, alright, 58 is here, 58, okay, not this one, so 58 is here, okay, 58, so from base on class 3, okay, so this is class 3, okay, correction, this is class 3, Class 3 river and based on DOE, this is polluted river. Alright. Okay. So, but based on, okay. So, the question need you to determine based on WQI and the INWQS. So, go to INWQS. So, for WQS, you have to do uh, one by one uh, description okay so pH 7.1 pH 7.1 okay we go it we, we leave it first DO 3.46 DO 3.46 here so class 3 TSS TSS here, uh, 12, so I put, I, I take one, this one lah, okay, class 1. Ammonia, 6.34, so greater than 2.7, so class 5. BOD, BOD is 5, so 5 here lah, alright, so class 2. B, COD, 28. 28, I put this one, class 2B also, 
fecal coliform uh, greater than uh, equal 10,000 so 10,000 so I, I take this one plus sorry 10,000 so 10,000 suppose is class 2b alright so to determine what class is it see actually is subjective but from this value this ammonia is very dangerous so I very dangerous for this river so based on INWQS river is class 5 polluted because ammonia is very dangerous okay it's harmful to human all right so this is based on INWQS all right okay uh, this is mine uh, for uh, um, answer for W1 so you have to do for W2 and W3 and submit into our U future all right that's it for today so thank you very much for your cooperation um, that's it for today thank you very much